Hey guys, it's Ramina, the math person, and today I'll be going over question 265 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. Four distinct in integers are chosen randomly without replacement. Okay, without replacement. From the first 12 positive integers, so that means these cards are named 1 to 12, or whatever this is. X is the variable representing the second representing the small second smallest of the four selected integers okay, np is the probability function of x determine the probability function for x is equal to two three so and so on okay so let me define x again so x is defined as the random variable representing the second smallest of the four integers integers Ooh. That's kind of rough here. This is four, by the way. So that means, for example, if I have like, like six, one, two, four, the x value is going to be that two, and that's one of the reason why the probability um, function starts at two because one can never be the x because one is always going to be the smallest, not the second smallest, since it's also without replacement. So no two cards can be drawn twice. Okay, so I think the best way to do this, as always, is just look at some examples. Like, for example, what would happen when x is equal to 2? Well, that means the x, um, the first, um, the smallest value has to be 1, right? So then, again, it's going to be 1. And we, this is talking about the, when x is equal to 2, so the probability um, of picking 2, there's only one 2 card. So it's just 1, right? Since there's only one card. But if I already picked 2 cards... Then how many cards do I have left? I have 10 cards left. And out of 10 cards, I'm picking 2. So 10 choose 2. And what's the whole probability? Well, I have 12 cards in total. And I'm picking 4. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it for when x is equal to 3. Okay, so then the smallest number could be 1 or 2. Because since we're talking about x being the second smallest. We don't know which one it is, so we're just going to say that out of two cards, we have to choose one. Out of the, the two or the one card, we choose one. And there is, again, one um, three card. So the possibility of um, choosing three card is just one, which is 100%. And then how many cards do I have left over? Well, I have, I've already picked one, two, and three, so I have nine cards left. Out of nine cards, we pick two. And then again, the total is just 12 over 4. I mean, 12 choose 4. Do you kind of see the pattern? Okay, hope so, hope so. Let's just do one more just for the, just for some kicks and giggles. So the smallest number here is going to be 1, 2, or 3. Since we're talking about the second smallest being 4. Then that means I have 3 cards to choose 1 card from. And then again, there's only 1, um, 4 card, number 4 card. So that probability is just one. And then how many cards do I have left over? I already picked one, two, three, and four. So that means I have eight cards left and I choose two. And again, the total is the same, 12, choose four. Okay, okay, now we get to, I hope you guys see it. We go so on, on and on. And then let's just do it for an arbitrary X. For some arbitrary X, the smallest number could be one, two, blah, 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 blah all the way to X minus one, right? As you notice, if x is equal to 4, this is 2, 3. So then out of x minus 1 cards, I pick 1. And again, the probability of picking just x card is just 1. And then if I already picked x minus 1 card and my x card, how many cards do I have left over? Well, that means I have 12 cards left over and I choose 2. Kind of a green. I mean, you can kind of see the pattern, right? Like... 12 minus 4 is 8, 12 minus 3 is 9, 12 minus 2 is 10. So it goes along with our um, patterns. And then the total pos probability is still the same. The whole possible combination is 12. Out of 12 cards, we choose 4. Okay, so then we can actually simplify this. x minus 1, choose 1, is just x minus 1. Um, 12 choose 2. Um, oh, actually this should be 12 minus x, right? 12 minus x, choose 2, is... That's what we're trying to figure out. Again, our combination formula, if this is like n, here, actually I write it in red. n choose 
k for this combination, this is going to be equal to n factorial over k factorial minus n times n minus k, the whole thing factorial. And I hope this makes sense right here too. When I the part that I was talking about, because this is you know, right here a plus four. I mean twelve. I hope this makes sense right here. Twelve minus x because again this is equal to twelve minus um, four, which is eight, right? So then out of that, if it's for some arbitrary x, we're just gonna do twelve minus x divided by two, or choose two. Okay, and then when we break this down into our formula, n for us is 12 minus x, so this is 12 minus x factorial, choose, divided by k factorial, which is 2 factorial for us, and minus k factorial is 12 minus x minus x k, which is 12, 2 for us, so this is 2 factorial, which is also equal to... 12 minus x factorial over 2 factorial times, this is 12 minus 2, so that's 10 minus x factorial, right? Oh, it's getting kind of getting long. It's fine, it's fine. So this is equal to 12 minus x factorial. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we can always say this is equal to 12 minus x 12 minus x times 11 minus x times 10 minus x and so on so on. So this is equal to 10 minus x factorial. I wrote it like that so I can cancel it out with the denominator here. And this is all equal to 12 choose 4 which is equal to 495. Okay. So then the numerator, I'm going to bring it back to this side. The numerator is equal to 12 minus x, 11 minus x over 2 factorial over 495. This is also equal to, oh wait, I, I forgot my x minus 1 here. Oops, sorry about that. It wasn't important when I was doing math, <laughs> but it's important now. Okay, right? So then this is equal to x minus 1, 12 minus x, 11 minus x over... 2 factorial is just 2 times 495, which is equal to 990 over x minus 1, 12 minus x times 11 minus x, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!